Hi, this video is uh, coming to you from uh, me, Eric Johnson, veterinarian uh, down in Marietta, Georgia, specialty in fish health, um, dogs, cats, and lots of other animals. Um, I came to talk to you today about Kilodonella. Um, it's a parasite that's, uh, in some respects, it's related to white spot and ick and costia and trichodina and a variety of others because they're called ciliates. Let's not get bogged down in that. Tiny little parasite. But it kick, it kills fish um, very, very hard, especially in the springtime outside in fish ponds. Uh, Jack Gratzik is a veterinarian over at University of Georgia. He used to call it Killer Don. I could see where that would come from, Kilodonella. Um, but it, it's a killer. In cold water, very much a killer. And koi uh, and goldfish outside in ponds, if people call me up and they say, my fish are dying so hard, I've netted two today, and uh, I've got two more on the way out. When I hear that in cold water, I start thinking Costia and Kilodonella. So this video is regarding Kilodonella. Kilodonella, uh, rapid fish killer. Um, I should be able to uh, put a video or a picture of Kilodonella up on uh, my YouTube channel. In fact, I'll do that while I'm processing this video here. And uh, so, you know, please check out my YouTube channel for a video on you on Kilodonella. And you might say, um, well, a video of Kilodonella is great because uh, I don't have a microscope and what the hell would I care about seeing Kilodonella? Um, actually, you probably wouldn't if you don't have a microscope, but we'll be covering that in other videos, how to use a microscope, where to get one. Um, so, Kilodonella, you're not going to see that parasite. It is invisible on the fish because it's microscopic, but you will see the effects. The effects of uh, Kilodonella are um, pretty massive mortalities, difficulty breathing, slimy skin, clamped fins, less, of a less activity, and, uh, and then, like I said, fish just dying. Um, there's one good thing about Kilodonella, and that is it responds very quickly to uh, medications like formal and malachite green. I'll do a video on formal and malachite green. And uh, responds very quickly to salt. And when I say very quickly, I mean very quickly. Uh, the die off is usually in the first day. Keep the salt around to break the life cycle for a period of time, and then uh, that, that's done. I like salt as a pond treatment, uh, especially for Kilodonella. Uh, and Mardell Clout, um, kind of a big fan of that because it's uh, very safe, can be used in a little bit warmer water. Great spectrum against Kilodonella. But let me back up just a second. We talked about, uh, or I talked about, you didn't talk about anything. You're just sitting there eating Cheetos. Um, I talked a little bit about um, Symptoms, sorry, that's what happens when you get older. Um, symptoms of Kilodonella would be um, slimy skin, clamped fins, less activity, sudden death um, in fish. Uh, but the thing is about that is that you go to a symptoms chart and you look that up, there's no specific symptom to Kilodonella that does not also equal pH crash. Yeah, it's a water quality thing. There's a video on pH uh, right here in my channel. Um, but so water quality deteriorations like high ammonia, high nitrate, uh, the three videos I've got out uh, right now on the YouTube channel called Silent Killer 1, Silent Killer 2, Silent Killer 3, those are water quality issues and they look exactly like Kilodonella. So when I say that Kilodonella causes clamped fins, loss of appetite, sudden death, uh, slimy skin, um, so does ammonia toxicity, uh, oh, and pH crash, oh, and high nitrites. So you know what I'm saying? So I think that approaching any fish disease situation, instead of guessing it's Kilodonella and throwing some clout in there, uh, it would be good to test your water first to make sure it's not it. Because if it's pH crash, you can fix that overnight. And that's more common by far than Kilodonella. But this video is about Kilodonella. Okay, so Kilodonella, to recap, is a microscopic parasite. It is related to ick because, or white spot, because it's a ciliate. You can see it under the microscope, and I'll show you a video of Kilodonella here on my YouTube channel. You can treat that with salt, or formalin malachite, or Mardell clout. In fish tanks, I would rather you use Mardell clout. It's safer. And actually, if you're just guessing about ciliated protozoan parasites like ick and Kilodonella and Costia and Trichodina, 
I would rather you use clout um, for those because the spectrum is very broad and it's very safe and you can use it on fish that are pretty sick and it won't just push them over the edge. And um, so that's kind of what I wanted to tell you about Kiladinella, a big hard fish killer in the spring in koi ponds. Kills fish pretty good in your fish tanks. Should be suspected anytime you see clamp fins and slimy skins and um, gasping fish and um, pretty easily cleared. So that's what I've got on Kiladinella. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm adding a lot. And uh, you can see how these subjects kind of dovetail together because you're talking about kiladinella and it brings in clout. Or you're talking about kiladinella and it brings in salt. Or a relationship between kiladinella and costia. Do you know anything about costia? Well, you will if you subscribe because when I add the costia video, you'll get a notification. So, thanks.